Not surprisingly, the auto company known for its handling and reliability also has the best gas mileage. Honda, the most fuel-efficient auto company in America. Hello and welcome. I'm Eric Hesseldahl, Senior Technology Writer here at BusinessWeek.com. This is Tech 101. This is our weekly video podcast segment where we answer your questions about technology. Our email address is tech101 at businessweek.com and uh, send us your questions and we'll try to answer them in plain English. This week I want to talk about internet audio and the various things you can do with it. Our question this week comes from David in Cambridge, Massachusetts and he writes, I just moved here from Southern California. In California I loved a particular local radio show which I would always record on tape. I just discovered that I can listen to the show over the web but after the move it's on at an inconvenient time. I'm using a Macintosh computer, but also have access to my wife's Windows PC. Is there a way to record the internet broadcast of this show? Well, David, what you need is something in the way of a TiVo for internet radio. And the good news is that that does exist both on the Mac and on the PC. So, but I'm going to talk about the Mac first, since you said that that's your primary machine. Now, there's a great program I like to use. It's called Audio Hijack Pro. So what Audio Hijack Pro will do is basically record any sound from almost any application that you run on your Mac to pretty much any format that you might want. It'll record to MP3 or if you want AAC or lossless sound formats like uh, Apple Lossless or, or AIFF. And then if you want, it'll even move it over into iTunes. From there, you can put it on your iPod. So let me show you a setup that I use every day. I like to listen to Morning Edition every morning, but uh, I don't always have time to actually listen to it on the radio. So I set Audio Hijack to record it so that I can listen it to my iPod as I ride the subway to work a little later on. So let me show you how that works. So you can see what I've done here. I've set Audio Hijack to grab audio from iTunes. You can pick any application that you want that produces sound. And I've given it a URL, a web address basically, of uh, streaming audio for the local radio station here, WNYC. And down here, you can see that I've set, it, set the scheduling. Uh, weekdays, Monday through Friday, from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And you can work with the scheduling down here if you only want it certain days. You can click these buttons, say I don't want it on Wednesday for some reason, you can click Wednesday. Or if I added a Saturday recording session, same time frame, you can do it that way. Also, you can uh, set this mute function here so that it doesn't play through your speakers in the middle of the night if you don't want to wake anyone up. And this quit source box also tells it to quit the source application when the recording is through. So this is a screen where you set a lot of the uh, parameters of the sound file you're going to end up with when the recording is done. In this case, I've set it to record an MP3. It's a news program, uh, not music, so the sound quality doesn't have to be all that great. 64 bits is okay. If it's a music program, you might want to set it a little higher. And you can do that here, change it from 64 to, say, 128. And that'll sound a lot better if you're, if you're recording music. If you want really good music format sound, you might set it to, say, Apple Lossless or AIFF. Now, another thing you're going to want to do, whether you're doing this on a Mac or PC, is you're going to want to tag your files. If it's a music program, you're going to want to make sure you know who the artists are, maybe the date of the recording, uh, maybe the name of an album. Now, let's talk about the PC. It's a great program from a company called Radio Time called Red Button. Let's talk about that for a second. Now, the best feature about Red Button is the connection to Radio Time's uh, radio schedule. Basically, it's a directory of thousands of radio stations around the world and thousands of radio programs. So if you want to hear Rush Limbaugh in Colorado or Rush Limbaugh in Florida or Fresh Air in Philadelphia or Fresh Air in California, you can use their guide to track it all down and record it at a time that's convenient to you. It'll also record the programs in several formats, including AAC and MP3, and it will move those files directly into iTunes so you can play them on your iPod. So you can get that at radiotime.com. It's $29. Another program to consider is Replay AV8. It's from Applian Technologies. You can download it from applian.com. It's $50. One thing it does that the others don't do is uh, video. It will record video from sites like YouTube, so you can save them for later. Now, one other point I need to make. Generally speaking, it's okay to record things for your own personal use. You shouldn't be putting these up on file sharing sites. That's a no-no. So recording for yourself is generally considered to be okay. So here's all those programs again. For the Mac, uh, I recommend Audio Hijack Pro. It's from rogueamoeba.com, and it's $32. 
I'd also consider for the PC a uh, red button from Radio Time. It's at radiotime.com. It's $29. And uh, also Applian Technologies, Replay AV8. It's $50, and you can get it at applian.com. That wraps it up for Tech 101 this week. Remember to send us your questions. The email address is tech101 at businessweek.com. And remember, technology should be easy, and when it's not, it's not your fault. We'll see you next week. Not surprisingly, the auto company known for its handling and reliability also has the best gas mileage. Honda, the most fuel-efficient auto company in America.